Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we kick off part two of the Rat Bike Exhaust Expansion Chamber build. So in the last video, we talked about all the numbers that you need, the math, a little bit of design elements, but today we're gonna actually start mocking up and fabricating our pipe. So the goal with this first piece is to weld a pipe that goes out and up. Once that is in place, we will then start with our cones that expand and contract, which will then go in a route inside here, the small piece coming out the back for the silencer. That's later. So there's two ways to get the pipe to come out of this exhaust port and end up here ready to be expanded. The first way is with a pre-bent piece, like a mandrel bend or a sweep or something. The second way is to cut a straight piece of pipe at slight little angles and stack them up backwards so that they start to make a curve. These are known as pie cuts. Since I don't have access to a mandrel bender, but I do have access to a table saw, I decided to go with the pie cut route. It'll be a lot more welding and actually a lot easier to screw up, but I really wanna practice getting these pipe welds down, so why not? It'll look cool at the end too. Honestly, you'll save yourself a lot of time and headache if you use a pre-bent piece of tubing especially if you want to keep your welds to a minimum, but I don't care. I want to weld, so pie cut it is. Now, once you start to stack these guys up properly, kind of look like that. So this is how we're going to make our curve. If you want to do pie cuts yourself, and make your own cut pieces, make a pipe out of it, there's plenty of resources out there. There's videos, formulas, all sorts of information so that you can do your own. But if there is enough interest, I'll make my own video explaining how I did it. So now that we know what method we're going to use, it's time to look back at that sheet of calculations that we did in the first video to figure out how long we want that first piece. For example, my first piece needs to be about 12 inches long in order to get the proper RPM. What that means is that I need to stack enough of these things up and use enough straight pieces in order to A, make my bend from here around and up, but B, to reach that 12 inch spec that we figured out in the first video. And since I don't really know how much it's gonna take, I'm just gonna start by taping a couple together and see where it gets me. So yeah, basically I'm just mocking these up. I'm gonna tape them together just to get an idea of what shape I wanna make with these. The cool thing about the pie cuts is that you can stack them any which way you want. So you can actually twist them and make any shape. Okay, I've added some more pieces to it. Let's see how she looks. Sit about there, something like that. We have to rotate it a bit to get it a little bit further back because it's a bit forward. But that's about what we're going for. Then the expansion piece can expand up right in the middle of the screen, right across. But this is a pretty good starting spot. So this is pretty nice, but we want to get this finalized exactly in the right spots where we need it. Then we'll start tacking it together and get rid of that tape and lay some real welds down on it. We'll clean up the inside of this so the exhaust slows pretty smooth out of there. Then we'll weld it into place from there, doing the same exact operation but with the cones. So I'm starting with these first five pieces, because I know that they're dead straight, perfectly even radius, I have a line to mark it on the inside to tell me where straight is. I'm gonna get rid of the tape, prep these with some natured alcohol, get them nice and clean, then we're gonna tack it, see what happens. And for our rig, we have a Vulcan Pro TIG 165, a 16th inch thoriated electrode with a gas lens, and we're running around 40 amps, 35 to 40 amps. Okay, first tack's done. I was just doing these little blast tacks, no filler or anything. We went from here, to here, to here. And make one more of these and add it on. Okay, tack welding is done. I poked through a couple areas 
my fit up wasn't perfect and just didn't want to fuse bevel was a little too much really there shouldn't be a bevel on this at all you you see there are areas where it's not beveled areas where i got a little bit too happy with the sander but uh that's okay any holes i can easily patch obviously this isn't a custom job for a high paying customer this is my own bike so i don't care so here's a proper mock-up got the flange in there got the pipe coming out Here's where the expansion chamber will start. Yeah. So we're back again another day. Last time I tried a little bit of welding, but it's pretty hard. So I'm gonna get some practice on some scrap real quick, and then we're gonna go for it. So to do pie cuts properly, there's actually a sequence in which you wanna weld. You don't just wanna go on one side the whole entire time first, because that'll put too much heat in one side and end up warping your tubing. I'm not too worried about it, because if my tube warps a little bit, it won't matter, but just things to keep into consideration. In case you were wondering, here's what beginner TIG welding looks like. Now to work on the other side a bit. Get about halfway done. So the first piece is finished. And a lot of these welds are pretty rough. Some of them came out okay. Some of them I blew through, had to patch holes. But that's okay. First time doing anything like this. All right, last thing for now, we're just gonna weld that inner flange piece onto that first pipe so we can mock it up on the bike. All right, she welded on. Now I can put this thing on the bike, see what she looks like. It's about where she sits, somewhere in there. So with this, that makes us done for the day. We're gonna come back next time and start on the cones. Basically, we're gonna start where we left off here, do the same type of thing, some pie cuts. The cones will go up, curve around the top of the engine, and eventually go back to be ready to be routed to the muffler that we put on it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.